Hi Cresswell, hope you're all okay, missing you all lots. Today I'm going to read you the story, Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell. I hope you enjoy it. Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Whee! Crash! Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he sulked off into the moonlight. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy, one was too noisy, and one was already taken. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell. It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail and the snails loved L Norman's silly shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, bird, cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it. With a slither and a slother, a slip and a slide, Norman was free. But he was falling faster and faster and faster until... Plonk. Norman, Norman, are you okay? asked the snails. Wow, said Norman. That was great. I love flying. If only I had wings. Ta-da! Miss you all. See you soon. Hey Cresswell, Ronnie was going to take part in story time today but he's feeling a little bit tired so hopefully next time. See you all soon, bye!